Hey you all, it's been a while since I've given you an update. Um, last couple weeks have actually been, like life's kind of gotten back to normal. I feel like I'm living in Okinawa, but not, like just in a different country. We've been doing homeschool. The kids have been sick fighting a flu. They're passing the flu one at a time, one week at a time. So we're on the fourth kid this week for our fourth week. And I am hoping that this the rest of us are immune, but I doubt it. You can pray for us that the rest of us will stay healthy. This week's Ruby's week, and all the boys have gotten it. So just us girls that are left. Hoping we don't get it, so pray for our health. Um, we did have friends come and visit. That was awesome. A uh, family named the Singleys, Kristen and her daughter Allison came, and Audrey's got to hang out with Allison. They're really good friends, so that was exciting. I'm actually gonna post, we went to the Sticky Waterfalls together, and I'll post that here. here with us today. She's gonna to tell you what we're gonna do. So we're about to go to Sticky Waterfalls. We just have to pick up my mom and Miss Emily. Yeah. Yep. So we'll show you what we'll show you um, once we get to Sticky Waterfalls. We're here at Sticky Waterfalls and we're going to go show you where the waterfall is. It's like just right down there. Yeah. So just have to take the path. We'll be back soon. Here we go, off to the falls. We're walking. There's my mom. Hi, mom. Hi. We're walking. We're almost there. You can hear it. You can, yeah. Oh, I can see it. It's over in the corner. I was told by Jen, oh, please be yeah. careful. Do not, do I not step on that. Over here. Yeah. Here it is. There's There's Titus and Rui going down. Yep. Yeah. Alright, ready to go down? Yeah. I'm okay with it, just be careful. Like, why did the lady say that? So we just finished um, the sticky waterfalls. I'm very wet. I'm very wet. It was fun. Yeah, I found it was fun. She was fun. Yeah, she slipped. So but she caught gone. herself right before she ran into me. So <laughs> we're good. How was it, Bob? Like, great. So, like, you guys should come visit. Yeah, you gotta come visit. You gotta catch up. great time at Sticky Waterfalls and then um, had a great like first full week of homeschool jumped into it was rocking through our lessons things are good and it's been good and then had sat the weekend and then a great day Sunday we're still trying out churches trying to figure it out pray that we find our home church place that we really love going to and want to go to um, I think we're getting closer but Kevin's not here to help so when he gets back, maybe he can check out the places I've been checking and see where we're gonna land. And um, then Sunday night, as most of you know, cause you follow my Facebook stuff, um, I got a phone call from Kevin and I was like, oh, Kevin's calling me, that's not good cause it's the first voice call I've gotten from him. And he just said, hey, we need, you guys need to pray. There's a guy I've been hit, pray. So I hang, pray with him on the phone and then I hang up and I pray with the kids and wait waiting for news and we find out that one of the team guys passed away was hit by a mortar well the, he wasn't hit by the mortar but shrapnel went through his body and um, we lost him it's hard that's what we're here for and the community here is hurting and it's hard like they love they love each other here well uh, FBR community is pretty tighten it. Kind of feels like um, the Okinawa military community because community, you're just so, the same idea in Okinawa where everyone's just away from their home and their parents and um, normal people that you would run to and you have to make friends fast and 
um, lean on each other and that's how it is here and it's really neat to see them just come along each side each other and encourage each other and just grieve together the loss of a, a beloved medic that was willing to put his life on the line to give them Jesus which is really cool so these last 24 hours I would say I've been processing a lot and I haven't taken you on this journey because I haven't been filming everything that's been happening. But a lot's been happening. <laughs> I think mostly just inward, right? I'm just thinking about things. Kevin's over there. He's in the middle of it. And I'm not, I don't really fear. Like, there's, I've been given peace. And I know that's because you guys are praying and I want to thank you for praying. I, I, that peace that just trans transcends all understanding is guarding my heart and my mind, and it's good. And I want to thank you for praying for me and praying for the kids. Like, I feel like spiritually and um, emotionally, we're doing really, really well. Um, so thank you. Thanks for praying for us. Uh, but at the same time, like. Oh, just processing it like what if I mean I know that if something happens God is good and he is gracious and that will not change and uh, I just pray that I hold on to that if something really does happen oh I'm there's some things that I'm really thankful for like today I got to talk to Christy from Okinawa and she asked me, are you liking Thailand? And I'm like, I really do like Thailand. Like it's beginning to feel like home. So praise the Lord that this place is feeling like home. And then I'm just super thankful to like be with the community that Kevin's serving with because I don't know, like I feel like if something does happen, like they're gonna be here for me and they're gonna help and they're gonna come alongside of me and they'll be able to maybe share any news that they would have to share in person, which is pretty a big deal, like, versus getting a phone call or finding out from social media through other sources. Yeah, so I'm grateful for that. And today we got to go and um, be, we just had a prayer meeting and just a time of remembrance and time to understand what happened and at the office, and it was really good. It was good to be here for that, to have that, um, like sharing with people that get it, like their people are there, and that was good. Uh, Zao seems like a pretty great guy, funny man, well loved knows how to um, encourage and keep things light. He's gonna be missed. And he left behind a wife and a daughter, a one-year-old daughter, who's actually had her birthday on the day that he died. It's, my heart breaks. I mean, makes you evaluate, like, is it worth it? <laughs> is Jesus worth it? And he is. He is totally worth it. And I'm just praying that they see that Jesus is worth it. He is totally worth it. And I was praying for one of the FBR people today. Like, I was just thanking the Lord for sacrificing his son, right? Like, Jesus is God's son. God sent Jesus to die for us, and he willingly gave his son's life, like, the ultimate sacrifice and it made me think like is Jesus worth my husband's life is Jesus worth my children's life the answer is yes because it doesn't take away the pain for those that are left behind so we hurt with her and just pray. Pray for his wife, pray for his daughter. 
she would somehow be able to grow up know, knowing him and his legacy. But it was so good just to be in the presence of people here, Lord, and to be in the presence of the Lord and to, to pray and to give thanks together for a man's life. It causes you to think inward and uh, count the cost. There's a cost to following Jesus and sometimes it's a high price for your life. But that's what God calls us to, to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. And also full sacrifice. Ah. So thanks for praying for us. We are, we're doing well. And I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful for the community that God has given us here. It's a unique community, but it's a good community. So we love you. <laughs> Just want to thank you for praying. And uh, that's our update. Plans for this week is just to get healthy, hopefully, and continue to focus on homeschool and get things done. Hopefully, we'll be able to do those things by the grace of God. Be good. Love you guys. And really, thank you for praying. Like, it's noticed and it's appreciated. It makes a difference. Prayer matters. Like, it matters when you're settling into a house and all these things gotta come to place and it matters when your husband's at war and you don't know what's happening moment by moment. And prayer matters. I encourage all of you just to be prayer warriors for all those who are in need or anybody that the Lord puts on your mind. Just pray for them. Be faithful to pray. God's working. And even if you don't think he is, he is. And uh, I know it, because like really this peace that I have is only from the Lord. Like there's no other way to explain it. And even just the hope that we have of seeing Zhao again is only from the Lord. There's no other way to, to explain it. And even though our hearts hurt for those that are affected and left behind, like, we know he's in a better place, and uh, it's good. So, thanks for following our journey. It's not always fun, it's not always easy, but God is always good.